Welcome, Welcome new, subscribers. new subscribers. Welcome, Welcome subscribers. subscribers. Thank you, Thank for, you for your support. support. Welcome to Welcome the Kimmy Street channel. channel. My, name My name is, is Penny. Penny. I'm coming, I'm coming to, to you again. again. Dropping, dropping some pearls, some pearls on, you. on you. Trying to help you understand, understand what is what going, going on with on the with patriarchs, the patriarchs who is who running, running the show. show. I want you, I want to, you to watch this, this clip. clip. That I found, that I found. Because, see, because see this information, information is coming, is coming to, light. to light. The unveiling, the unveiling is, happening. is happening before, before our eyes. eyes. So you so watch you this, this, and then I'm going to come, come, come back, and I'm going to make, make a, 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 I'm going to narrate, gonna narrate it, it and break it and break down, it down for, you. for you. So you will so see, we'll see, this is everything that I've been talking about, so... Again, Again, I'm running, I'm running into, this into this information, information confirming, confirming everything, everything that I've been that saying here. here. So, so just, just take, a look, take a look and we'll and come we'll back come and talk, and talk about, about it, it, beloved. On it. Not only is that interesting, but he's wearing a miter hat. That hat he wears is the same hat that the Nomo and Awanas wore in that symbolic way to show their influences to those civilizations. So think about how bizarre that is. We're told that all this stuff is fantasy and a myth. The Anunnaki and these influences of beings and creating these civilizations and all this stuff, none of it's real. And yet the highest of our religious establishments has a pine cone on their staff and the hat worn by one of the ancient influencers of those cultures. The key to all ascension is simply balance and knowledge. The knowledge of, 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 of balance and the knowledge and wisdom needed Pro provides you the way, the way to the top, the way to, as they've said, heaven and all these other various things along the way. That way is being guarded, very guarded by these powerful individuals. Those individuals are tasked simply with protecting that knowledge from us because it would allow us to be free. And we would, it would completely, the control of religions would fall apart, everything. Okay, let's jump in here. You know, I'm going to narrate. So right when this, this starts, they go right into the Nomo, right into the Nomo culture. I thought that was very interesting because I talked about that before. So when we talk about the Nomos, we're talking about, the pine cone on it. Not only is that interesting, we're talking about the matriarch culture, the ones who identified themselves as asexual. And you'll see this woman here, how they go past her very quickly and talk about the Anunnaki. You see her and you see the Anunnaki right next to her, supposed to be this Anunnaki. But these are the asexual women, okay? That was from that Neolithic period. None of it's real, and yet the highest of our religious establishments has a pine cone on their staff and the hat. And so he's talking about these Sumerian men. These are the men from Sumeria. And I thought this was funny because see that he, that didn't even make sense. What you need is divine feminine. Again, this all this information still start patriarchal because men doesn't identify that they're the equation to this problem patriarchs don't include their self as an equation to the problem and that's one of the issues with me and talking about this information and again we have sumerian the black nobility in charge that still has um it still has control that's why you see even though there is a lot of truth out there we see a lot of truth out there no one is following the, the truth and they're still got all these churches open isn't that something and they know the truth they know the truth this this is letting you know you know who's ruling what okay uh i want to i want to go and look at this carlson guy uh, he's really popular in the metaphysical community and I start to follow him, but again, a lot of his stuff still sounds like patriarchal, uh, like men just, we just ran everything. And usually when I hear that, that is a, a, a red flag for me, ping, ping, ping. It just a red flag goes off for me because he, again, 
it, it, he's talking about these outsiders coming into a matriarch um, culture and empire and rebuilding. And this is just not so. This is not so. I have to look more into this thought, uh, thought uh, character because the way they are shifting him again is he's starting to sound like this Jesus. You know, uh, he's starting to sound just like this this character made up Jesus that the patriarchs have made up. And he comes up with these tablets. But I want you to watch this clip and I'm going to come back and I'm going to narrate it. You know, I'm going to narrate it. So uh, I'll come back uh, and I'm going to narrate that clip. So let's just watch it. He's uh, according to himself, he calls himself an Atlantean king. Now, the priests that were left behind after he left, they call him an Atlantean priest king. The ancient Egyptians, uh, you know, call him a king or a god. He ruled over them for 16,000 years. We're talking about a very, very long time ago. We're talking about 54,000 BC. This is ancient, pre dynastic era, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, this gentleman claims to have built the Great Pyramid. But what's interesting is he. His emerald tablets, which are a text that he authored himself. He didn't have a scribe that authored these texts. He wrote these tablets himself and left them behind for this generation that we are in right now to understand, break down, analyze, and actually learn from. What was interesting in these tablets is he talks about this flood in the opening uh, verses, this great flood that has swept across the land. Again, more evidence of a great flood. He talks about the fact that the temples were coming up out of the mud and that his mission now was to go and raise mankind back up to a high level of civilization. In other words, we had already been in a high level prior to this flood, potentially some type of a golden age, high level, high tech civilization existed before this flood destroyed the planet. And now him and his crew, he took a crew with him. He got into the great ship of the master, according to his writings. And this wasn't a ship that sailed out on the ocean because he said upward we rose into the sky to the sun until beneath us the planet it basically disappeared the earth disappeared but we're talking about a ship that flies up and out not that sails across water until the time appointed he said he looks down beneath the ship lay the land of the children of chem and he sees an ancient temple coming up out of the mud and then they descend down to the ground and then the people by this time had become barbarians and so they had lost their technology had lost you know a lot of their language and everything else because of this global disaster that happened probably a couple generations have gone by or whatever i'm assuming but they come to attack him when he opens the door to his ship and come out him and his crew and he he raises his staff and he sends out a ray of vibration which stops him still as fragments of stone of a mountain so he has a stun gun that can freeze you in place just like we have the active denial system in the military that sends a beam at a crowd of rioters and can freeze them in their tracks, make them feel like they're vomiting, make them feel like they're on fire, put words in their head, make them put them in pain, make them run away. Same technology he has. And then he releases them and he begins to talk about peace with them. And he says, I'm a son of Atlantis and I'm here to raise you back up to a high level of civilization. So this guy is interesting because after he created this new civilization here in the land of Kemet before it was known as Egypt, he then told his crew to go around the planet and duplicate what they had done there. So he's the master architect. His crew went around the world and re-kickstarted civilization in different regions of this planet, most likely along that 33rd degree parallel. Uh, and uh, it's just to me evidence that after a flood, we had some assistance in getting back on our feet. So both he's, uh, according to himself, he called Okay, we're going to jump into it. You saw the video there. So now it's time for me to narrate here. So I'm going to start from the beginning with this thought. Uh, again, this thought is just very suspicious to me. Again, they're asserting this man again. Again, this man comes out of nowhere. There is no women with these people. So again, we're talking about the history of men. And then we have this other man, his mouth is moving. When I say what a man's mouth is moving, telling the story of humanity, you better not believe it. Especially if he's leaving out women. He's going out of his way to leave out women and he's focusing nothing but on men. There is a problem there. Okay? 
So let's look at this Thoth, him talk about this Thoth that's supposed to have did all this. And he's making Thoth responsible for all the Egyptian civilizations where all the pyramids at. All of a sudden, this Thoth is responsible for all the major art culture. But let's I digress. Let's move in there. They call him an Atlantean priest king. The ancient Egyptians, uh, you know, call him a king or a god. He ruled over them for 16,000 years. We're talking about a very, very long time ago. We're talking about 54,000 BC. This is ancient pre-dynastic era. This is not true. This is not uh, pre, uh, pre-dynastic. This is not pre-dynastic. That was uh, clearly, it's not true. That is not a pre-dynastic. Pre-dynastic would be the major our culture. Again, there will be the Neolithic culture. That is pre-dynastic. They wouldn't even be uh, featuring Thoth there. Okay? Thoth came much later. Okay? So, again, I see a lot of mushing history timelines around with the patriarchs, too. They have played with the timelines as well to uh, stop that matriarch culture from existing in, in, in history. They had just stamped her out of history. They, but it doesn't make sense. Once you include her history, everything makes sense. But when they're doing it like this, you kind of be like, okay, what's missing here? And you kind of feels like something is off. For me, it was like that. I'm just like, what is missing here? You know, why is he so focused on thought like this when clearly you guys admit that the black woman is God and that she had, she was there in the pre- dynastic time so why are we fo focused on this thought and then we admit that the sphinx there is of a woman all this is being ignored it's of a woman we go back to focusing on is gender of male again so i digress let's move on that's what you're text that he authored himself he didn't have the great pyramid have built he claims to have built the great pyramid but what's interesting is he, he did not build the great pyramid a text that he, he did not himself. okay he so i want to stop here he wrote these tablets himself and left them behind for this i want to stop here remember in the other video that we watched when they came here we already had these technology women already had this technology and they talked about how the Anunnaki and the Sumerians came in and started stealing this knowledge from the Egyptians, the matriarchs. Again, you see how this not that might make it sense? How you gonna write something and you came here and invaded? And remember how the matriarch offset, uh, she took on men and her body, she helped them create men because they didn't know how to replicate themselves. So this is not even making sense. You stole this knowledge. Again, this is this timeline and stuff, and I don't know how he's putting this together, but I'm starting not to, to trust Mr. Carlson anymore. I mean, you, we can't trust these men, especially telling that story of humanity and, and, and history. It's always going to be the patriarchs from his pr perspective because women and children just don't exist in their paradigm. It's just all about them. They are the only humans on this planet. So, you know, I digress. Let's move on. So this, this is not, this is not, yeah, he may have wrote the Emmer tablet, but where he get that knowledge from? We already saw in the other video, he came in contact with Egypt and they admit uh, taking some of this knowledge, the Sumerians and stuff took some of this knowledge and the Anunnaki, they came here, they needed this matriarch help. Isis or Set had to step in and help them. Okay, she had to step in and help them. So it lets you know that their her magic was superior. They even stole uh, the Ark of Covenant that was the source of the matriarch power. See how the patriarchs are stealing from the matriarchs? You see what I'm saying? All oh, this is stolen. I mean, I hope you're wrapping your mind around this, beloved. I hope you're wrapping your mind around this. But let's move on. I digress. tablets itself and left them behind for this generation that we are in right now to understand break down analyze and actually learn from 
What was interesting in these tablets is he talks about this. That's woman. interesting too, right there. I can't make this out. What this? It kind of looked like a woman, and then it looked like a man. So I'm not really sure what this is right here. You know, again, they have genderized. Uh, they have gender washed uh, artifacts as well. So on the top of this figure, it looked like a woman, but then in the middle, it looks like. Uh, you know, there's genitals there, you know, a man genitals there. So I'm not sure if this has been gender washed or not, but it's definitely an interesting artifact to look at. I wish I could look at it closer. It's about this flood in the opening uh, verses, this great flood that has swept across the land. Again, more evidence of a great flood. Now, with this great flood, and it's so many moving parts with the great flood, because this great flood, I think what it was done for, uh, I have several reasons why I think it was done. I think the Anunnaki did so many genetic testing on this land. That's why we had the giants. That's why we had all these different being here is because of them trying to replicate themselves and find a suitable uh you know, trying to find a suitable vessel to replicate themselves in. I think they met, did a lot of messed up genetic testing. And so they, it, it, on top of that, they had a hard time too trying to take over the major art culture and putting their, uh, um, the replication of themselves in charge. That's, that's what they wanted. They wanted to be in charge of the resources on this planet. They did not want that divine feminine uh, energy coming through that they couldn't survive. That's not the energy they were they were wanting. They were wanting the resources to dominate this planet. You know, even when I think about that, I'm like, for what reason? You know, what reason you can gain everything and then everybody's poor except you? But then what? Uh, you know, so it's just it's just a crazy uh, theory. It's just a crazy to me how how capitalism worked. So. I think it was it was a multitude of things. You're resetting uh, the major art culture. You're taking over, and then you're cleaning up the mess that you created. And then it's the survivor of the fittest that lives. And when that survivor of the fittest live of mankind, this engineered being, one of your creation lives, then you put him in charge. That is the leverage that these men got from the Anunnaki. That is that is you know. That is what I think. That is my theory, the, the way I'm putting these things together. But judging back and looking at the flood and looking at the remains and looking at all the genetic testing that that was done during these time with these things, I think they made a lot of oops. I think they made a lot of oops, uh, some oops that they needed to get rid of. And it, it caused them to have to reset the whole planet as well and then to gain leverage. You know, it was a, it, it was just a game for them to gain leverage uh, for the men, this uh, mankind they created. Uh, they reset the planet with this flood, and I tell you why they say that because they're the first ones to show up after all of it. So let's let's move on. Let's see. was to go and raise mankind back up to a high level of civilization. In other words, we had already been in a high level prior to this flood, potentially some type of a golden age, high level, high tech civilization existed before this flood destroyed the planet. And now him and, and so he let you know right out the out, right out the back before this flood came and destroyed the planet, there was a golden civilization here. Okay, there was a golden civilization here before uh, this this flood happened. Okay, so he don't talk about it. He don't go in. Why does he not talk about it? Because to talk about it, he have to talk about the matriarch uh, history, the culture, the empire, and that's when a humanity was in this golden stage. There was a golden civilization there. How could you just go by that? to go talk about trauma and all this stuff that happened to the planet after that. You won't focus on this part. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going? You go, I, that's just like, 
you wanted you want black people to say did so many things that was great but yeah y'all just want to focus on the slavery this kind of stuff y'all want to show on tv y'all want to show everything that the scarcity deprivation depression trauma that's what you want to see you want black people to see you don't want to see uh them to see images of hope and inspiration and empowerment you don't want them to see images like that you know he goes right past that why not to go talk about something that that's not even real we an evasion happened to talk about the trauma of humanity and not focus on because we can learn a lot what was going on in that golden age and if you know that if you know that and you you know all this i know you know that you know about the matriarch culture that's what i'm talking about i digress and move on because i can go i can get on my soapbox about this i'm telling you now writings to the great ship of the master according to his writings see he said the, the great ship, ship of the masters they came right after the flood this is so interesting to me destroyed the planet and now him and his crew he took a crew and he got to the great ship of the master of him before this flood destroyed the planet and now him and his crew he took a crew and he got to the great ship of the master according to his writings he said that before the great ship with a flood de de uh, destroyed into the sky into the sun until he left so you tell me you didn't save anybody this person was not coming here to help anyone they this is why i say they started the flood they did not come here to help anyone he said right before the great flood him and his companions got into the ship and they, they went away you hear what i'm saying he went they went away so they started it, that flood had something to do with them okay this and, and, and again was this the anunnaki you see how they, they playing with us especially him i don't even trust him you know be aware of him because these this these recounts of history and this thought i'm not feeling it okay but again they leave this flood happened so how do you come here to help humanity and here comes a flood and you leave and you have all this aka power and all this technology and you mean to tell me you can't save the planet you're going to leave them in the flood because they are the one who caused the flood you see how he's telling the story but that's all right i'm gonna narrate i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell it to you right i'm gonna tell it to you like you need to be told to you because he ain't gonna tell the truth that's that's how a man do sails across water until the time appointed he said he looks down beneath the ship lay the land of the children of Kem, and he sees an ancient temple coming up out of the mud and then they descend down to the ground and then the people by this time had become barbarians and so they had lost their technology had lost you know a lot of their language and everything else because of this global disaster that happened probably a couple generations have gone by or whatever i'm assuming but they come to attack him when he opens the door to his ship and come out, him and his crew. And he, he raises his staff and he sends out a ray of vibration, which stops them still as fragments of stone of a mountain. So he has a stun gun that can freeze you in place, just like we have the active denial system in the military that sends a beam at a crowd of rioters. Now, do that sound like somebody that's come to help the planet? No, that is, does not sound like nobody that comes to help the planet. That, that don't sound like nobody to come to help the planet okay so again we got this woman sphinx here in egypt we have all this is pre-dynasty all these artifacts are pre-dynasty how is he writing thought into this pre-dynasty matriarch empire without this this these people being the invaders that came in and invaded the matriarch culture and gave the sumerians you know uh power okay I, I, you know again and all this technology comes from the ancient civilization the matriarch civilization i digress put yeah. them in pain make them run away same technology he has and then he releases them and he begins to talk about peace with them and he says i'm a son of atlantis and i'm here to raise you back up to a high level of civilization so 
this guy is interesting because after he created this new civilization here in the land of Kemet, we duplicate. Did you hear what he said? He said after he created this new land of civilization, again, these are engineered uh, men. These are engineered mankind. When you hear them say mankind, this is a play on words, kind of like a man, maybe a man, some type of man. Okay, so he's letting you know he created this civilization. Uh, like I said, they needed to reset that, uh, whatever they needed to do with that flood, they needed to re engineer man, put him in power. They figured out their plan. That's what I think. That 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 makes sense to me, you know. And then, plus, the plus, they made a lot of oops, uh, when they began to genetically modify these humanoids on this planet. They, it was a lot of oops going on. It was creating things that was just a oops, you know. I can go on and on with that. Uh, but let's move on. This crew to go around the planet and duplicate what they had done there. So he's the master architect. His crew so now he's crew trying to take uh, credit for all the matriarch civilizations that was there before they even invaded. Uh, and uh, and when he ends it on the 33rd parallel, I was just done with it. I was like, okay. You know, I was really done with it. But now he's giving Thoth all the credit for creating all these matriarch civilizations, you know. What about these mounds and everything? Yes, you're gonna you're gonna give that to Thoth as well. Thoth did that too, you know. Uh, again, you know, be weary of Mr. Carlson, beloved. Uh, and I'm glad the information is here, even though it's not correct. I'm glad I can I can narrate it, and it confirms a lot of the things that the ancestors have told me, and I can come back and share some of this knowledge for you with you, so you don't fall for the okie doke. And us women, we need to be telling our story from our perspective, not from men. Men do not need to be telling. This is the main reason why I said men do not need to be telling our story. They don't need to be telling it. They do not because they're only going to. He's so egotistical. It's so narcissistic. Uh, this patriarch structure is so built on lies and backwardness. You know, that's what that's what they have to create for them to feel good about themselves. They have to create an environment of lies and betrayal. And, you know, they have to, it's got to be all anti-nature. And then they wonder why, you know, the planet is the way it is. It's because if you, you need to sit down, sir, and be quiet because you are not the galactic being on this planet. You are not the proper uh, uh, ruler authoritative figure on this planet you need to sit down and be quiet and listen that's what you need to do and listen to what we're saying and and, and do your best to follow what we're saying um so i mean it's all here beloved um, i'm looking at information too about this uh, black woman they found on the moon it's very hard to find the information because they are working hard to hide and bury this matriarch history. They have written her totally out of history. And I get upset uh, sometime when I think about it. I get very passionate about it because her story uh, deserves to be told. They would sit there and say the black woman is God. And, you know, she gave birth to the first man. And then they'll sit there and keep talking about themselves like they did everything themselves. You see how he talk about this thought supposed to Now you didn't turn this thought into a religion, into a Jesus now. You see what I'm saying? You put another man, worship another man. What you think that's going to get you? The Sumerians already did that. I don't care how many times y'all changed that over and flipped it to be another kind of way. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's going to get you. That's why y'all can't replicate yourselves now. That's why you can't reach a higher consciousness now. Because you make it about you and it's not you. You, you are we're not the contributors to humanity. You know, you were genetically engineered. You were genetically engineered. And this thought, you know, again, he was with these outside invaders. He said he helped create civilizations. But he telling you, the civilization before here, it was already a golden age. What happened to it? And then right before the flood, they left. Y'all had all this technology and you came back to help them rebuild. But you tell me you couldn't help them stop the flood? Come on now. 
you know, uh, I just like to keep it real with you. And uh, I like to share what, what the ancestors share with me, share with you. Again, this kind of com this confirms, you know, all the knowledge that they have shared with me, even though, like I said, uh, he is not being forthcoming. But I can fill in the blanks for him and 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 see where the deception and lies are at. You know, uh, and somebody said, I'm rewriting history. No, you patriarchs rewrote history. Now us women, we got to go in here and find these lies like a man always do. Find lies. Find out where these lies are so we can find out where we at and what y'all hide. That's how we got to find this very ridiculous, even though y'all will give us accolades or the black woman is God, but you won't sit there and release this information. You won't go into a lot of depth about it. You will blame it on the white man that 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 happened to us by a white man. But it really, in fact, it happened to us in our own home. We were betrayed by the people in our own home. Okay, we had people, we had outside invaders. We had outside invaders and then we had you people that they created, you know, uh, trying to get some type of trust relationship going on that did not go well you know that's what i see that is what i see you know uh, again i'm going to bring more information on on uh this like i always do you can get my book on amazon matriarch the patriarch uh i'll leave a link here uh but you know be weary of mr carlson uh, I'm gonna do some more research about this Thoth, cause now y'all, now you contributed, you didn't gave every. Now it's Thoth that then, then, then built every pyramid and stuff. You see what I'm talking about? I, I, I am done. I do not listen to him. You know, again, they're mushing at history again. The patriarchs are fighting hard to keep, make themselves relevant, and I think to keep their power. And I think they're doing it in the metaphysical community through Mr. Carlson here. I really do. I think they're doing it through him. Uh, thank you for being here with me tonight, uh, loved one, and breaking these uh, little clips down. Uh, light, love, namaste, ashe, loved one.